Hi guys, and welcome to my new video. Have you ever wondered which racing games have the largest course list? Here is the answer. In fact, today we are going to analyze which are the 10 racing games with the greatest number of vehicles. We obviously exclude games without licensed vehicles, so games like Grand Theft Auto V and Switch Cars will not be considered. While instead we will also include traffic vehicles that cannot be driven by the player, always under license obviously. So, say that, let's start with the video. Number 10. Drift Spirits. And let's get started with the Drift Team mobile game right away. There are an industrial quantity of Drift Team's mobile racing games, but this one in particular is one of the best now. It was developed and published by Bandai Namco in 2013. This game has a beauty of more than 5,015 cars, and for a mobile game it has a lot. Even more than CSR2. Unfortunately, the English version of the game chased support in 2016, so I assume this game is only available in Japanese. Being a mobile game, thanks also to the maker transactions, this game I think is still being updated. Therefore, the list of cars will expand further over time. Number 9. Forza Motorsport 6. I'm not surprised if a Forza game appears in this list. It is also one of the best now franchise racing games, and with one of the largest car lists ever. Centrally not the best of the series, but uh, I must say that uh, I enjoyed playing uh, this game uh, a lot. Forza Motorsport 6 has more than 615 cars. Obviously, some of these have been added thanks to paid DLCs. Unfortunately, two unicorn cars, uh, the Ferrari California and the Nissan Silvia, can no longer be driven. And the only way to get these cars uh, is to use mods, but uh, I don't know if that's possible. Forza Motorsport 6, however, is an improved version of its predecessor, Forza Motorsport 5, which uh, I do not recommend by this game for being poor in content. Number 8. Gran Turismo 2. The second installment of the Gran Turismo franchise, released on PS1 in 1999. Unfortunately, I've never gotten my hands of any of these games as I've never had a PlayStation console. However, for a 19 and 19 game, having the beauty of 30 tracks and around 618 vehicles is not a small thing. Yeah, you are right. 618 vehicles. I thought, unfortunately, the dashboard camera has not yet been introduced. In fact, in the same period, other games such as Toka and InfoSpeed were released. Gran Turismo has always focused a lot of quantity rather than quality, that's also why. Number 7. Forza Motorsport 4. Yet, another Forza Motorsport game. This time it's up to the 4th chapter, which, if I had to be honest, is the most successful title among those releases so far. It was released in 2011, and was the first title to introduce the Auto Vista mode. It was also sponsored by Top Gear. In fact, every vehicle also featured a commentary by Top Gear presented Jeremy Clarkson. Thanks also to a large number of DLCs, the game has well over 10, 7,020 vehicles. In fact, it was the game of the saga that had the most cars until Forza Motorsport 7 came out. Number 6. Car Town. Are you kidding me? An internet game with toy cars? Yeah, you heard right. In 2010, this game was released on internet. After the more than anything game, it is a strategy game. Car Town has more than 7,030 license cards, and if I have to say, this uh, achievement particularly impressed me for being an internet game. However, it is no longer being updated. In fact, Car Town closed its doors in 2014. I'm a little sorry, after all, it was too bad as a game. Number 5. Gran Turismo 4. And there is another game in the Gran Turismo saga. 
and uh, this time is the fourth chapter. This game sold over 11 million copies, making it the most successful chapter of the saga, with approximately more than 7,016 vehicles to drive. Hellturk unfortunately Gran Turismo 4 does not offer any internal camera for another time. But I believe it, with more than 7000 cars uh, I see it too, especially for a game of PS2. And also having the beauty of about 50 trucks, uh, it is not a game to be underestimated, simply Gone Girls, even if not perfect. Number 4 Forza Horizon 4 Ah, one of my favorite racing games, and I still play it to this day. Released in 2018 by Playground Games, Forza Horizon 4 also introduced a season mode. It was also the first racing game to introduce Battle Royale, this is also why it's one of my favorite games. This game almost has more than 7017 cars. And uh, I say almost because uh, he is still up to date, uh, even if uh, I don't think about uh, it for a long time, uh, since Forza Horizon 5 uh, will be out soon. One of the great things uh, is that all cars except some DLCs are added for free. But they are marked as hard to find, meaning they can only be unlocked at certain times. Forza Horizon 4 at the beginning uh, also had a licensing issue with Mitsubishi and Toyota brands. They were eventually added later, fortunately. Number 3. Forza Motorsport 7 Look who we have here, the Forza game with the largest cars list, for now. I admit, Forza Motorsport 7 didn't particularly impress me, and I don't know what the reason is. Maybe it was quite repetitive, I don't know. Also in this game, surprise, loot boxes were introduced. After all, I didn't pay much attention to it, as I still went through the game without any problems. However, Forza Motorsport 7 has more than Hold On Tight, who hate 1017 vehicles. Wow, there are so many, especially for someone like me. Obviously, I didn't drive many of those, in fact, I didn't even play this game that much. Also because some of these cars can only be purchased through the special delay, a special car menu that allows players to purchase exclusive cars. Also counting that there are some false edition variants of the same cars, so having a good collection. Number 2. Gran Turismo 5 Well, oh my god, that was almost taken for granted. Yeah, in fact, the Gran Turismo franchise is back now for having a huge list of cars. Gran Turismo 5 was also the first title that came out on PS3 and to introduce some features such as damage and the cup kit camera. Of course, this was only applied to premium cars. In fact, in Gran Turismo 5, vehicles are divided into premium and standard. Standard are simply upscaled vehicles ported from Gran Turismo 4. Also, thanks to this feature that Gran Turismo has a very big number of cars compared to other games. It's nice to win his, yeah? In fact, as I have already said, Gran Turismo focuses more on quantity than quality. However, Gran Turismo 5 has around 9070 vehicles, probably 10 more than Forza Motorsport 7. But, there is still a game that has more cars than Gran Turismo 5, and of course, I'm talking about. Number 1 Gran Turismo 6. And what else? Gran Turismo 6 was released in 2013 by Polyphony Digital. More than a sequel, it feels like an improved copy on Gran Turismo 5 to me. At this point, uh, they should have called it Gran Turismo 5 2.0, and uh, there would have been no problems anyway. Of course, there are been some changes such as the number of trucks and the addition of new cars. On top of that, some vehicles like the Countach were converted from standard to premium, although they could convert more. Or maybe they couldn't do the hardware limitation of the PS3. However, Gran Turismo 6 has more than 1000 and 2000 vehicles thus earning the title of the largest vehicles list game ever. 
In my opinion, all this around the Folly Pony Digital has exaggerated a bit. I mean, uh, who would drive more than 1000 and 2000 cars in one game? Thankfully, with Gran Turismo Sport, the cars list is drastically reduced, at the cost of obviously better quality. In fact, all cars are super premium. Finally, I would had. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Sing up and like the video to support my channel. Say that, see you in the next video. Bye.